With an Africa DLC already present in Planet Zoo, why can't we have one in the other large frontier game, Jurassic World Evolution 2? We will be going back to Africa and seeing what new species attractions and more we could see in this hypothetical expansion. Now let's return back to Jurassic Africa. The campaign that this expansion could come with could revolve around us going back to Africa and creating new and diverse parks in unique biomes from the deserts to the savannas and bring back new extinct African species. Some new skins and variants we could see could be two new Majungasaur skins, one from Jurassic World the game and one from Jurassic World Alive. The Jurassic World Alive one is completely different from the one we have in game and would offer us a different model for the Majungasaurus. The Majungasaurus in Jurassic World the game would be a nice addition and would make the Majungasaurus look more vibrant. A Spinosaurus skin from Jurassic World the game would also be nice to give it more color and an accurate Spinosaurus variant would also be nice. An Oranosaurus variant from Jurassic World Alive would be amazing to see just considering the amazing colors it has. This Kentrosaurus skin from Jurassic World the game would be a nice addition as it makes the Kentra look even better than it already does and those spikes and contrasting colors look amazing on it. This Sukomima skin completely changes the model and makes it look bulkier and offers more color variation for our Sukomima. But now for species. Some new species we could see could be the Afrovenator. It wasn't as nearly as large as the other two carnivores in Africa, Carcharodontosaurus and Spinosaurus, but it was still a prevalent hunter in that area. And adding another medium-sized carnivore would be nice to see in-game. Paralatitan was a giant titanosaurid that lived in Egypt, and it would offer us another sauropod, and could even have armor on their backs if Frontier wants to take some creative liberties, as they are sometimes portrayed with armor. Heterodontosaurus was a small heterodontosaurid that lived during the early Jurassic. It was a small and feathered dino, and I know people are asking for this dino as well, and would offer us another smaller species. Sarcosuchus is one of the most asked for non-dinosaurs, adding crocodilians to our game would make people extremely happy, and Sarcosuchus is one of the most famous ones, and would offer us more opportunities to see more semi-aquatic animals, and could open up the door for other time periods. But now for attractions. The swinging boat ride would be a nice attraction to see and would offer us more variation in our attractions since right now we only really have variations of viewing platforms and galleries. One of the most iconic rides is the slingshot ride. I think this would make a great addition. This would make our parks feel even more alive. The merry-go-round would be another popular attraction that I think would make an amazing inclusion just because it is incredibly iconic and used a lot in Africa. Some new maps we could see could be an Egypt map with the pyramids in the background. This would be an amazing map to see and would offer us more landmarks in the background similar to San Diego appearing in the back of the San Diego map. The Egypt map could also be placed around the Suez Canal to offer us even more famous landmarks. A South Africa map would be nice to see and could offer us a unique building area as South Africa has a very unique shape be a nice map to see. This map could also offer us another natural lagoon since it is in the southernmost tip of Africa. A Kenya map could add a new biome, the savanna biome, which is one that I know people have been asking asking for Madagascar map with new plants and foliage would also be nice to see and would give us a bunch of space to be able to build on. Being just one island could also offer us the opportunity to build on the whole island which could give us another huge map and I know Frontier is open to huge maps as we've clearly seen from the new square maps that are coming in update 6. The final map we could see could be a Tanzania map. The wildlife of Tanzania is amazing and the mountains in the background are just beautiful. This would be an amazing map to see in game and from the bottom of my heart I want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I will continue to make content and try to entertain y'all for the years to come. If you guys have any criticisms, please leave them in the comments down below as well. And I love you guys. But now for buildings. Some new decorations we could see could be smaller fences similar to Planet Zoo, which I know people have been asking for, different fountains that have either dinosaurs or present day animals, new trees would also be nice and would give us more foliage to play around with as all foliage is going to be available on every map now. More African decorations such as buildings, fences, and just other things would be amazing to see as well, give our parks some of that more famous African architecture. This expansion could also come with an African building set. The architecture of Africa is completely unique and would give us an entire new building set to play around with and would be able to create amazing things with this building set. But that's it for me. What do you guys think? Would you guys want an Africa DLC for this game? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. But if you want to see what a Jurassic World expansion could look like, 
click on this video right here. I will see you guys next week.